Hello and welcome to the zone. Never played EFP. EFP. Uh, there were a couple things that attracted me to it. Cat, what are you doing? You want to walk on the keyboard, I know. Yes. Doing what? What? Cat, you want to sit here? What are you doing? Hold on a second. Oh, he tripped. Are you gonna sit down? Okay, you're good. More or less. You're more or less good. He's gotta figure out. My cat forgets how to sit down. He's gotta remember every time how to sit down. Um, are you gonna sit down? not doing it I don't like to force him because then uh, you know that that alienates him oh well, you're gonna you're gonna sit in the most annoying way possible all right cool I'm gonna play some stallcraft while watching this for the double dose double dose of reds huh um, there's a couple things that attracted me to this um, but I honestly don't know if I'm sticking with this either and I'm going to talk a little bit about why. But, um, there's a couple of things. What is this? Epterazine. Need more equipment. I don't know how to get that. Um, so I'm going to be doing some quests. Spray lubricant. A lot of people here seem to want to want me to get stuff for them that I can't get myself which makes sense I guess this guy wants me to get him an artifact which you know good luck with that honestly I have a privilege understanding of what they are talking about oh nice any yeah you want me to get much the same thing goodbye almost finished the main quest and I feel that a bit yeah uh, I'm getting a bit faded on Stallcraft, not gonna lie. <laughs> Wait a minute, you guys- you're almost finished the main quest? Where- where does it end? You guys are past the dump? Oh, wait, rodent meat? I can actually do that one. I'll do it. Procure rodent meat. Is there any work? Retrieve documents for clear sky location coordinates. Sure, I'll do that. I might go to the... Uh, I might go to Corden. I heard your message. Need a guide? Give me some details. Uh, I need to get be in the garage. By the vehicle gra graveyard. I can pay you 5,000 rubles for the job, but keep in mind that you won't get full, full pay payment if we don't get there in time. Um, the garage. Hold on. Where is that? Guys, is it garage or garbage? I can't tell. Um, so this is Corden. Ooh, there's a goodie there. Retrieve documents for clear sky. It, this, uh, this map is not one of the better ones. This is Corden. And then where is garage? Is it up here? Meadow. So up here is meadow. And then rush dock, agripalm, dark valley. Where is garage? Meadow. Oh, this is, this is garbage. So I need to take this guy. If I'm going to take this mission, I would need to take him through cordon up here uh i don't really want to do this because i'm gonna i'm gonna go to cordon i i've been milling around in the swamp today it's garbage or svelka almost done the past the dump just finishing uh, some hidden quests to be honest my main gripe with how bad bad both pve and pvp are yeah i don't blame you that's kind of why i wanted to jump into like get into a stalker game because i figured what I really like about Stallcraft is the world and the atmosphere of it. So I figured um, I, I should get like play an actual stalker game 
um, in order to get a, a enhanced version of that. What time is it? Oh, it's actually close to night. Maybe it's a bad time to leave. But there is a sleeping spot in the cordon. And I am going to go to the cordon. Yeah, right here. So I could go here and sleep there. Uh, yeah, let's leave anyway. It's it's getting dark. This game's got a very long night cycle. Um, day night cycle. So like, you know, it takes a lot longer for it to actually become night than uh, in a lot of games, which I really appreciate. You know, like I've played a lot of um, a lot of these AAA games that have day night cycles and um, they always feel kind of phony to me because they don't, you know, they're not they don't they don't have any kind of um, length to them. So it always feels a little bit phony baloney. The game shines with the tension and atmosphere and IMO. The quests have problems in PvP as well. Yeah, um, it's difficult to take the PvP seriously when you can, like, you know, you, you eventually find yourself in a situation where you can, like, it, it takes, like, three or four shots to kill one person, and then, uh, but they, they hit you in, like, one shot. And I am, like, I'm talking about headshots as well, like, but, you know, that was always going to happen, I think. Any work? Monolith Patch Faction. I have no idea where to get that. I won't lie, I've been struggling very hard with this game. This is, uh, if you don't know what this is, this is Escape from Pripyat, um, which is a mod of Anomaly. Uh, Anomaly is a pretty open roam, like, uh, you know, free roam kind of game. Um, and I'm enjoying this. There's some really cool stuff about it. Um, you have to, like, manage magazines. And actually manage your uh, ammo in intelligent ways you can actually like maintain and clean your guns in fairly real realistic ways um, and if you don't then they'll jam on you and stuff like that like I, I do appreciate stuff like that but the problem is is that there's no kind of in built-in tutorial for how to do a lot of that uh, you know which makes sense these are mods uh, tutorials are not exactly something that people want to spend time developing um, but still, I find myself in positions where it's like, I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. Like, upgrading your weaponry in this game is actually pretty difficult. You have to have the right toolkits, and you have to have the right tools to begin with. Um, Tarkov right there. Well, this game, this this mod is a deliberate riff off of Tarkov. It's a, This is Escape from, uh, from Pripyat. 95% of the PvP boils down to... Who sees the other first? Yep. So this guy needed a uh, wanted a radio, and I found him a radio. Wow, that was not even as much as I paid for the radio. So that's really bad. Uh, anomalous study location darkscape. If only I didn't have several important tasks already. Um, I, I'm not going to go to the darkscape right now. Anything else? No. Okay. Um, I, I work under the assumption that the swamps is like the starting zone, but I might be wrong about that because I've been getting stomped on pretty hard. I, there's no chimeras or anything like that in here. If you don't know what a chimera is, they're just like very large, tough mutants. Um, but, uh, you know, just the basic bandits in this zone seem to kill me pretty good. Trying to hear your enemy is impossible in Stalkraft and seeing them hard because of all the foliage there is a trick to it um I, something i didn't find out for a very long time about stallcraft is there's a little number in your uh near your mini map and that tells you how many people you're you're actually like is in your kind of little area um it includes allies and enemies so um it basically if you think you're like if you're on your own and there's an like a number two in that circle then uh, you know that there's someone nearby obviously also tracking uh, the map to see where allies are being killed is a good thing to keep track of but basically there's no guarantee there's there's no way of like knowing for sure that you're going to be safe and 
um yeah i mean that's that's where i kind of peter out is uh in a pvp situation where it's like yeah i can just like lose all of my progress and i don't really like the pvp like i'm not playing this for pvp i just want to kind of enjoy the world and some of the story there's actual moments where the pvp destroys the um the the story because like i literally cannot read the dialogue because they're in like very hostile environments any work crystal artifact i don't know how to get you that any work sin faction patch i don't know what that is is there any work no what is that oh strong energy drink it's actually a really nice find they don't seem to mind me taking that hello uh, do you have any work to be done? Nope. Can I take this? <laughs> this game doesn't have PvP. Make a game that just really leans into the hiking in dangerous areas st style Stalker has. Well, that's this game. And this game is free. Um, this is a, a complete, like, standalone version of Stalker. This is, uh, based on Call of Pripyat. And, um, it's, it's, uh, I like it in theory. If I under, if I grow, you know, get to understand some of the, um, more nuanced systems, then I think I may, might really enjoy this version of Stalker. But so far it's been absolutely kicking my butt. Is there, what's in here? Can I get in here? I gotta, I'm gonna save. Also, there's absolutely zero autosave in this game. Um, so that's worth noting. There's a version of this game, and I, I can't understand why you would want to do this to yourself. But if you really want to suffer, there's a version, there's a setting when you're starting this game so that you can only save at campsites. Sin is the, in the red forest, so this bro sent you on a death mission half of the zone ahead. Oh, wow. Pass on that. Here's my SKS. I, I somehow always end up with an SKS. I really like the SKS. It's it's a very simple kind of rifle, but I enjoy it. This is a very beat up, a broken one. I have to like try and figure out how to repair it. Um, repairing items in this game is a challenge. I uh, You can ask your dude. There's a dude at your like main town that will do it for you, but he'll charge you like 20,000 or 30,000 rubles. And that's just not going to happen. I don't have that kind of money. Right now I have a thousand rubles to my name. So, um, right now I'm just happy that I have ammo and I, I am fed. Because feeding yourself in this game is also kind of expensive. I'm a little bit worried I'm walking up to a bandit camp. Red Forest is one of the most dangerous locations in the zone, by the way. Oh. Well, that's good to know. I'm going to switch to something closer range. This is my... Uh, I don't know what this is, actually. AKS, I think. Oh, I found a little bit of money. He's talking about Stalkraft? I'm talking about this game. I was talking a little bit about Stalkraft, not gonna lie. I like Stalkraft. Um, I think that it just has the same problem I always have with. Ooh. Nah, there it is, jammed. Yep. I I had a feeling I was walking up to a bandit zone. Four bandits at once is, uh, that's, that's tough. I actually, uh, one thing I, d I do have a problem with in this game is I actually can't tell always if I'm looking at bandits or if I'm looking at other stalkers. 
I have to assume that they're stalkers if they're in like blue uniforms. Um, but it's really hard to tell. Sometimes they're in blue uniforms, sometimes they're in gray uniforms. Um, I don't know if there's an easier way to tell. So I am gonna I'm gonna try approaching uh, with the uh, SKS this time. Uh, if I can take these guys out, then it would be really good. Uh, actually went really well. If there's one, I know there's one more, but I don't know where they are. Where did he go? Feel like he's walking around the house. Oh, okay. I got very lucky with the AI there. That was really good. Might actually be worth heading back to the uh, town to sell some of this extra stuff. Renegade. Probably going to run into... Uh, we're going to ignore this. <laughs> we're uh, probably going to run into a little bit of encumbrance issues. Wait, what? I saw a gun there. Where did it go? Where did it go? There was a really cool looking gun there and it disappeared. What happened? What happened? Oh man, that kind of sucks. Blue is clear sky, green, gray are loners, black are bandits. Okay. I'll try and keep that in mind. I appreciate the info, uh, I'm his hand. I am struggling a little bit in this game. Can I drag this guy? You could drag the guy, people in uh, Call of um, Shadows of Chernobyl. There was a really nice weapon on the guy, and it disappeared. <laughs> it's as if someone uh, like looted him before me. Nothing wrong with doming your fellow stalker once in a while just to be safe. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I kind of uh, agree with that, honestly. It sucks in a way because like one of the things that I like about stalker and you're welcome to disagree with me here um, Is that it doesn't feel like just another dog-eat-dog -dog, um, Post-apocalypse It's not just like another every man for themselves. It is a little bit. I understand that but the fact that there is in any way any kind of camaraderie I have to drink some water um, Between stalkers is uh, it means uh, quite a bit to me. I, I actually really appreciate um, that that very tiny amount of of like You know working to not even working together just like not killing each other It's like, you know, um, if I see your body and the in the zone, I will loot it um, And there's that understanding of course that that is what's going to happen But um, I'm never going to intentionally kill you Or at least I will you know, I, I have less reason to do so because you know what at the end of the day working together um, is usually beneficial and I often think in post-apocalyptic world the worlds and settings it's very strange um, for people to like want to kill each other when there's enough things that are already trying to kill you a side storm is expected in nine hours I do appreciate in this game they give you lots of warning um, for uh, some of the environmental stuff. You know, it's a normal world outside the zone. Most of the stalkers have families and such. Yeah, that's the other thing is that the zone is like... The zone is the only part of the world that's post-apocalyptic or dystopian, if you want. Um, and that's an interesting... Another interesting thing to me. Um, like... It's, it's just such... It's a little bit more of an original take on the whole post-apocalypse 
to me than a lot of like I, I don't know I, I really am just talking about Walking Dead I think that's really just all it is is I just I just hate Walking Dead that's it that's really all it is and like it's not just the Walking Dead but um there like a lot of its predecessors like okay let me let me be clear here I I really do uh, I have a lot of respect for like John Romero and a lot of those um zombie movies but I don't have a lot of respect for that world um because it really like it, it's it's what started the whole you know a lot of post apocalypse um or at least the the whole zombie thing but I really don't like you know you know the whole like idea that society will fall apart as soon as like uh, you know one thing goes wrong um it just it just reads as kind of tropey and trite to me so this is the first time i've been in the cordon in this game the outside world is different kind of dystopia just not radioactive the rest of the world as i understand it is completely normal in fact as i understand it correct me if i'm wrong mm -hmm. We need some help. We're under fire from loners in Cordon. That is a body I could loot. As I understand it, um, the zone doesn't even really exist on Earth. <laughs> like it kind of does. Obviously, there are uh, you know you can you can walk there, but it's not um, not really tethered to reality. Okay, that's a creepy thing. I've never seen that before. Uh, I don't know if these are more baddies. Looks like they are. I'm probably gonna load. Um, Cordon is mostly loner bandits and military in the south, awfully close to the loner's base. Oh, okay. There, the only reason I came this way is because there is a, uh, there was a stash that I had knowledge on. Amazing to me with, uh, that, with how saturated zombie genre is, there are so few that make zombies part of the environment rather than the central set piece. Um, can you expand on that? Vild, I'm not sure what you mean. I, I think I agree with you, but I'm not exactly sure what you what you mean. Like, for me, I, I I'm still waiting for a zombie apocalypse setting in which pe it's about people trying to sur survive the zombie apocalypse. So often, it's always about people trying to survive people, and I just find that very boring. Free to disagree with me, but, uh, okay, so I'm not going to go near there. There is a flesh over here. Almost walked into a whirly gig. I want to get that stash. Yeah, that flesh... I'm Oh no, did the game just crash? The game just crashed! Oh my god. Guys, these games don't crash when I don't stream them. <laughs> Trying to survive people are at best surviving fighting hordes of zombies. Classic. Um, I wanted to stream this game as an experiment today. There's a good chance I will probably move to uh, Weird West. But I was playing this last night, and I was actually enjoying myself, despite the fact that every time I completed a mission, the um, payment for said mission basically just covered ammo and food. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying... Like, I am trying to get better at this game, and I'm... I know that probably no one in chat has played this version, but um, even like tips, general tips about the Stalker universe is very uh, appreciated. 
trying to survive people or at best surviving fighting hordes of zombies rather than fall off of society. These, uh, these games are, are kind of flaky. Um, I know that, so I'm not expecting, like, rock solid, uh, so, you know, uh, what is it? Sustain, not sustainability. Um, I don't know. I'm not expecting, I'm expecting these games to crash. I'm playing the Walking Dead inspired tabletop right now, and we already have sh shootouts with hillbillies in the middle of Boston. I just, um, I don't know. I think, call me crazy. If you want to have a setting where you're shooting people, why not just like have that setting? But if we're going to do zombies, make it about the zombies. I don't know. You know, maybe I'm just wrong. I usually am. So, uh, you know, it's, it's fine if I am this time again. But, like, it just feels, like, kind of pointless. Yo, are you still alive? Your body really had to um, fall down right next to the whirly gig, huh? Mission complete. Revenge killing. Okay. I'll accept that. This was flesh. This was a flesh meat. Probably running into uh, encumbrance problems very soon. I'm very close to my... Um, my stash. That was a lot of bullets to take down that one dude. Oh man, that's some really good stuff. That is some really good stuff I just found. I don't think these things break. Okay, I'm gonna head back now. I'm, I'm gonna save and I'm gonna head back. Zombie game, everyone, we killed four people already and only two zombies. Yeah, I mean, you know, I, I get at this point we're, we're kind of like stuck with it. And so, you know, if someone's going to run a zombie game, you're probably going to be doing that. I don't know what the deal is with these helicopters that are like constantly overhead. I'm pretty sure they just shoot you dead, and I don't know what their deal is. Maybe you can shed some light on that. Um, I'm a tan. I, I'd be interested. Um, he's really close, actually. Okay, I'm going back to the swamp. There were, was two zombie kills all three sessions and it was one of the player characters he left and his two-year-old son jesus it says, it's weird especially when reality shows that people tend to cooperate when disaster strikes it, it, you know honestly um build one of the reasons i truly dislike the idea of like a, a walking dead universe is it, because it is so cynical it's so cynical and it's it's like I, I know this is gonna seem very like there's so many names that people can call me on this one but it seems mean-spirited listen i know it's a zombie universe but i just like it feels like the world itself takes 
enjoyment in the fact that people are falling apart that people are killing each other and they're they're you know they they you know it, it takes it takes just a little bit too much glee and it, you know i almost like imagine the, the the entire genre like hopping up and down in, in enjoyment as as people kill each other and and like it does truly depraved stuff like oh a kid turned into a zombie and now uh, the, you know this this one person who has still has faith in humanity has to kill a kid because he's a zombie now and i know this isn't like a good topic for conversation i'm sorry i'm sorry for that but like uh, the reason i'm talking about it is because it's like it seriously is exhausting and i i i, I honestly like i honestly see it as as being really childish it's so childish. It really comes across to me as like some like trench trench coat and like uh like just some edge lord high school garbage. Um and uh, yeah, that's my spicy take for the day. I hate it. <laughs> I truly hate it. <laughs> really depends on the mod you're playing. Sometimes they don't even bother with you and sometimes they're going to go full rambo on you. Like, you know, do what you want, and and people can enjoy what they want. You know, they they can you can enjoy the the weird zombie universe where everyone, uh, humanity falls apart uh, uh, like a light switch. Uh, I personally find it really kind of lame. And you know, I like zombies. I and that's the weird thing. I like zombies. I think zombies are fun. Um. Zombies are, you know, I, I, I actually, I really enjoy horror movies and I really enjoy zombie movies for the most part. Um, I think John Romero actually got really fun in his, uh, late years. Like, uh, what was it called? Diaries of the Dead is just a really ridiculously fun movie. It's cheesy as hell, but, um, I, I kind of really enjoy it. Um... I, I really liked um, Land of the Dead. I thought Land of the Dead was really fun. And Land of the Dead actually assumes that there is still a, a society, which is kind of fun. And it is actually about the zombies destroying that society and not just people again. I'm sure the people the people do help, but you know. Hey, Kevbo, I, I don't didn't see what you said. Uh... If you do enjoy these universes, don't don't let me ruin your fun, honestly. I'll let you enjoy things if if you let me not enjoy things, kind of thing. My rage for Bimple and his extra free content streams confuses and enrages me. Generally never been this lucky. I killed a bunch of bandits. And I succeeded in getting a stash. The stash is very good. What is this one? Eliminate a dangerous mutant for a clear sky. Um, so you're going to see a little bit of double vision in this game. That's because um, the game is very aggressive on like letting you know that you're hungry and or thirsty. Generally thirsty. And so you may see a little bit of double vision. I hope that um, it's not too bad. I'm mostly speaking for for Neville because uh, I know that Neville gets uh, motion sickness, and I I do want this stream to be accessible to, uh, you know, everyone. I I honestly I think this game is a little bit better about not having too many weird motion graphics. Like I I you know I don't. First of all, I can't afford uh, vodka, so there's no vodka happening. You know, there's no me drinking too freaking bottles of vodka in order to stave off radiation sickness so that's nice at least i got that going for me i'm aaron i'm doing a lot of extra streams for my loving fans i've always streamed on thursday i'm gonna keep kevin awake longer than he should be awake i ah, don't let me don't let me uh keep you awake kevbo absolutely take care of your health first Nice to see you, Kevin24. <laughs> I'm Mr. Misa. Ugh. Guys, it wasn't it wasn't cool 
to enjoy Rick and Morty before all of this extra stuff. I'm not going to talk about this, I promise. That's just like... I'm not... Sorry, that was that's going to come across as me making fun of you, Andrino. That's not the case at all. I, I still want to enjoy Rick and Morty. It's just... Uh, um, environment... Uh, uh, history is making it very difficult for me. Look how dark it is. I love the day-night cycles and weather effects in this game. When I started playing this game, guys, I thought that the swamp was just naturally foggy. I thought that this, you know, like the, the great swamp was just like always foggy, but that's just because there was fog. <laughs> there was a lot of fog and it stuck around for a long time. It took, it stuck around for like two days, two in-game days before it, it, it uh, let up a little bit. And I love that. I love that. And then when it cleared up, I could like see for miles and it was just like kind of a mind blowing little moment of like, wow. The, the swamp isn't foggy. That was actually just weather. That was the game actually having some clever weather of effects. And the weather effects were actually having, like, you know, some kind of, like, immersive, immersive mechanic. I, uh, I really appreciated that. And, like, it gets really dark. I don't have a flashlight. I can't afford one. I seriously am poor. I, I really... I'm trying desperately to scrape up the parts I need to even, like, be able to maintain my weaponry um, and, like, keep my character fed and watered. Delete that before I stick the CIA on you. Kevil Bong. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Kevin, he got you. Kevil Bong. The Croatians go Vic a lot. What does that mean? Old Russian names Kevboslav Kev Kevbonadi. Kevbo being getting roasted slight somewhat in chat. I do really enjoy Kevl Punk. <laughs> oh, that's good. Hey my dude. I completed a mission for you. I get... Okay, so if ever someone tells you go and kill a mutant, please, or please go kill this guy who put a bounty on me, always take these missions because they might die of natural causes and then you can take the credit. I could really use some help. My friend was mugged and then taken hostage by some bandits. I really don't know what I should do. See, this actually seems like a bad um mission to take because that guy could die and then i will lose credit have anything else um this isn't really who i wanted to talk to there's someone here who i need to hand in a quest for the job is done yeah nine thousand rubles and i also got some vodka i guess i spoke too soon on the vodka thing a package can be found somewhere in the northwestern region of the cordon. Use an RF receiver on frequency 168 megahertz to search for it. I don't know where to find an RF receiver. Kevil Bong doesn't <laughs> exist. <laughs> Oldest trick in the book. Just let the zone take care of him. Right? Clear mute area of mutants. Yeah, perfect. I love that, that kind of job. is is perfect for me. So I got some really good stuff um, in that stash. Here's a, here's where I get confused. So I got they gave me a weapon body upgrade kit, right? I can only use the weapon body upgrade kit if I have the right tools. It's kind of annoying, um, but I, I appreciate that there is, I guess, some kind of gate. To get through, you have to find the right tools in order to upgrade your weaponry. Yo, it is like straight up nighttime. I've never been, I've never played this game at nighttime. Um, this guy will upgrade your equipment. And I have upgraded my SKS a little bit, but it's expensive and I can't really, like, it's, it's, I can't afford to keep that up. What I'd really like to do is buy the right, um, like, tools. 
and I don't know how to do that. Box of resistors. Oh, here we go. Tactical kit includes a combination of two scopes manufactured by a uh, That's not it. Offering the ability to install them on rifles with a dovetail. Picatinny or weaver mount. Thanks to my experience in uh, Stallcraft, I actually kind of understand this language now. RF receiver is only can only be bought, I think. And now I see that EFP is an anomaly mod pack. It is an anomaly mod pack. Field armor toolkit, advanced sewing kit, handgun repair kit. I need to figure out. Okay, so I'm gonna save first so that I, I, I it'll take me a second to load. Loading is is kind of painful in this game, but um, check this out. You have to pay him to use his vice, and then you can use his um. His, uh, his, you know, your workshop, basically. I won't lie, folks. I'm pretty drunk, and I just beat the Mantis Lords in fair combat in Hollow Knight. Yo. Way to go. Dang. Um. These are the toolkits that I need. I need basic tools, advanced tools. This helps me, uh, repair my equipment. And then I need to get parts. Right? I have, I, like, I don't know why I don't have replace. Like, I got some replacement parts in that stash. But I don't know. Yo, I got a shotgun? Oh, I got a Taz? Oh, it's, like, very not okay. This Taz is almost done. Chalk from a double barrel shotgun. Hammers from a hammer type double barrel shotgun. So what I can do is disassemble these for parts, and then I can use those parts to repair other weapons. In theory, anyway, but like, I don't know how to do it. It's, it's, uh, it's proving to be difficult. Because I need to find these tools. I feel dirty. Uh-oh, my alt account is here. Hello, Neville. <laughs> Hey Neville, how are you doing? It's stalking time. I I think that this one will be better than uh, radiophobia for motion sickness, Neville. But I I, I hope that you will um, just let me know how you're feeling. And uh, this this will not be like a two hour segment. I don't know. It could be depending on how things go. Let me hold on. OBS isn't not visible for me right now, and I don't. Oh, I see. It's not going to be visible for me. Okay, there you go. I fixed it. The chat has decided that Kevbo and Neville Wong are alt accounts. No, the, the chat decided that Kevbo is Kevil Bong. <laughs> um, <clears throat> allows you to repair, upgrade, craft items by yourself with the help of proper toolkits. Tools shown above represent the ma available main toolkits on this workshop, which can allow further adjustments for your items. So I'm going to load because I can't actually do anything right now. Kevbo plus Neville Wong equals Kevil Bong. Oh, is that what the joke was? <laughs> I just thought uh, Kevbo was short for Kevil Bong. <laughs> I fell asleep last stream, so I missed radiophobia. You didn't miss anything. It did not go well. <clears throat> I I struggled very hard with that game. It uh, it was kind of miserable. I won't lie. I'm so far enjoying this version much more, but it's a shame because it means I'm not going to get the storyline of Shadows of Chernobyl. Is there any work you have? No, no, no work. I need to buy some equipment. So in theory, this guy might sell me some tools. No, there are no tools here. Can 
kind of want to buy a flashlight so this is the thing is like you'd think that you'd be able to buy an rf detector from this guy uh but he does not sell one we found a relic though we did find a relic and then the relic immediately started killing me it is not a joke bimple this is my life you're playing with <laughs> <laughs> uh. I'm sorry, Kevbo. 762. So I need 762 and 545. I always have to constantly remind myself. I'm going to buy a little bit of 7 uh 762 and I need to buy some 545. So look at that. 15 shots of both of those is 5000 rubles. Does that not seem extreme? There is a way of crafting bullets. I'm not kidding. Um, there is a way of like, if you can, uh, you you can like, basically um, re, like break down uh, other types of bullets. It has there has to be like a range of plausibility to it, but you can break down like one type of bullet and turn it into another. Um, I kind of want to use this shotgun but i also kind of want to uh dismantle it i don't need uh nine millimeter uh who who, who am i kidding i'm, I'm gonna sell I, I do think this um currency system kind of sucks because it's like five thousand uh, rubles to buy like two packs of bullets meanwhile i'm selling him like 39 millimeter and i'm getting nothing in return here Flesh hide. Light mutant pelt. Effectiveness of multiple units is stackable. Repair bonus. This offers some protection if I'm to turn it into armor. It's It weighs me down quite a bit though. So I'm going to sell it. I'm going to sell this kerosene as well. Um, I've got a lot of these glow sticks. Oh, oh, I was, I thought for a moment that, uh, they were going to give me a nice price for them, but no. Yo, when did I get a light, a lead lined metal container? This is actually fantastic. I need this for, uh, holding artifacts. And I've got this drum. I'll sell the drum. I don't know where to store stuff. Like if I, I, I just like, I'm just carrying everything all of the time and it's kind of a problem. So I got this, this is a 792 barrel. This is a, a part used to repair items. Barrel from a German a 792 rifle. So in theory, if I found a uh, 792 rifle, I would be able to use this to repair it. Sounds like you should have been a shopkeeper instead of a stalker. Yeah, no kidding. Layered fire retardant fabrics. Rubber coated fabrics. Welding goggles. I can um, dismantle these maybe. Designed to provide eye protection while wielding or cutting, unless... Sorry, welding, not wielding. What the heck is wrong with my brain sometimes? Um... Okay, can I... I can't dismantle that. Can I... I can field strip this rifle. Remove barrel. So this is how you can... This is how you field strip... A, um... Gun. I kind of wish there was a way you could like just like completely field strip it like do all of it required tools missing and like in here I wish it would tell me which part what what tools are missing exactly so the best part about this gun is in fact the uh the barrel the barrel is actually quite well maintained then i can field strip this 
um, gun here. And we can see the best part here is again the barrel. The recoil spring is actually not bad. I was joking, my name is absolutely not John. In Anomaly, at least you could just put stuff in whatever containers. Just put stuff in the box that usually every camp has, it won't get stolen. Uh, alright, I'll have a look. I cannot see at all, dog. Oh my god. Uh, let me sleep for a little bit and then I'll figure it out. Sounds like a new material found in a car comet or something. So this is where I sleep. I'm wondering if there's a container here somewhere. Does anyone know where um, the container usually is? Like, is it near a, the shop usually, or...? I really do enjoy the policy of you die in a few hits and enemies die in a few in a hits too. No bullet sponges and everyone is vulnerable yet deal high amounts of damage. Well, I'd love to agree with you there, I'm a 10, but one of the problems I was having last night with this game is I would shoot bandits like three times in the head and then they walk up to me and shoot me once and just like my goose would be cooked the container in uranus the container in your mom ah chat is having a good time love that for chat i got distracted with imatan being named samir is that your name you might shoot at the head doesn't mean you've hit it. I mean, that's fair. Uh, that is fair. I am looking for a container. I am not finding one. I mean, you're not wrong. Um, you know, guns in this game have a, a certain amount of accuracy. Hey, do I have a quest to hand in? Kevil Bong has no limits. That's pretty weird. Usually bandits are tough as a wet noodle. They're pretty tough in this game. Job is done. Yo, apparently that mutant got killed. Fantastic. I actually have like more money right now than I usually ever have. Alexander, what name is Blin? Blins are tasty. Um... Uh, I'm still looking for this container. Maybe down here? This is a hideout shelter. Why is it radioactive down there? I guess there's like a little bit of water down there. Sorry about the double vision. I'm gonna drink some water pretty soon. I just want to find this container. We are working on the assumption that it exists, but like it's a good assumption. Uh, I'm gonna have to eat some food. Oh no, 
I think I've poisoned myself. No, I'm good. Y'all talking about food? Crepe is meh. Yo, crepe is meh? Excuse me? Hey, Mimesis. I was, uh, I was about to say, I hope Mimesis is okay. I don't ever want to, you know, people to feel pressured in a, you know, jumping in the stream. But I, you know, Mimesis is, uh, like, got a almost 100%... <laughs> attendance rating it's kind of insane um i was like i hope i hope she's doing all right hope everything's okay we're looking for a container for me to be able to store my goods and uh currently i'm not finding it does anyone in chat have a heavy mustache if so how the heck do you deal with it i had a heavy mustache up until about two days ago and then I got rid of it. I cannot find this thing. I'm gonna have a look near there two there's two places it could likely be. Well, first of all, what is this? You would think that this would be it. Like this looks like the perfect locker. I guess that's like a generator or something. I seriously cannot find it. Any work that you need done? Uh, need an experienced stalker to lead them out for the, to the field for study. This is uh, usually an okay job. Um, have anything else? I'll do this, but I am going to continue looking for this uh, crate for just a little longer. There's nothing over here Which would lead me to believe that it is over here. There's like no I don't know why this guy like stands on guard over here because there's like no way out of the town in, the, in that direction I was trying to grow it out so I could curl it and surprise my little brother with it next time I see him but god is it so freaking annoying. It is really annoying. I um, I recently redis like I found my my um I have like beeswax for specifically that Kevbo and uh, it doesn't work like you can you can put as much of that junk in your hair and I find that it just does not do it any work scout the area in the Great Marsh sure this is not very good pay but it's free money basically any work you want done? Nope. Okay. Guys, I'm, I'm beginning to believe that there is, in fact, no crate. At all. In this town. I wish you success in your curling endeavors. I have no idea where the box and base is because I hate swamps and I want to get out of it as fast as possible. Fair. I would like to get out of it as well. I don't really have that luxury though, unfortunately. Um, yeah, th so this is why I end up carrying everything. Um, what I try and do is sell as much as I possibly can and then just, like, donate the rest. Which is why I don't have any money, of course. This is where I sleep. You would think that the, if there was a crate anywhere, it would be in this building. You would think that if there was a crate, it would be near where you sleep. You would think it would be, like, literally in this room. Uh, is that backgammon? Okay, well, I don't think it exists, so I'm gonna try and sell my stuff Swamp is out of the way 
Probably should move to Cordon and base in the Rookie Village. Maybe we could do that today. That seems like a good idea. There's a couple of things I need to do in the swamp. Um, but I, I don't mind trying to do that. Let me see if I can't sell the parts at the very least. Can I sell any of these parts? I actually can. That's actually really good news because it means I can strip the gun, the weapons for their parts and then just sell the parts. Uh, they're probably not worth much, but they're worth more than what I get for the weapons, which is absolutely nothing. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of happy with this. Uh, trigger mechanism. Yeah, like, I, make no mistake, this is not good money at all, but it's better than nothing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and donate this, um, shotgun. And 7.92. I don't need a 7.92, right? This is a 5.45 and this is a 7.62. So these barrels are not very good for me. Used at workshops as part replacement. I need to find someone to sell that magazine to. This is not nothing. I actually have a pretty good money right now. Oh, what is this? Upgrade kit for APS pistol. Upgrade kit. Uh, RMR tactical kit. Okay, these are not things that I need. This guy will sell you parts for, like, repairing and maintaining your stuff, but it's not useful to me yet until I understand better what I'm doing. Make sure to save before. Hold a place, run towards a wall, you will clip through it. Look for a chest, you will need to jump and interact with it at the right timing. What? Skyrim? Fortunately, it's around that time of year... Guess who found some uranium for sale? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, I wonder if this guy will... If I, like, disassembled the part of my gun that was broken. So, for instance, this SKS... I'm going to save before I try this. Um, this SKS is... Fine, except for the barrel. So why don't I... Remove the barrel... I wonder if he'll sell, either sell me a barrel. Let me, first of all, is this a 762 barrel? 762 barrel. Will you sell me or repair? Will you repair the barrel? Oh, that would be so nice. Because he will charge a lot of money to repair the SKS, but if he would just repair the barrel, then that I, I could maybe afford that. Maybe he has a 762 barrel. No. He's only got the barrels that I just sold him. Um, I might end up loading that because uh, it does you, like wear on my tools a little bit to disassemble anything. Uh, I'm going to have a quick look over here and see if this guy sells a barrel and then I'm going to go and do some stuff. No barrel. Oh, RF receiver. Uh, I really need that. I'm just going to straight up buy that. Okay, I'm not going to repair, um, undo that. Because it, it takes an annoying amount of time to load. Functional bolt carrier. What a way of saying that. Alright, we're going to switch to ammo. I need to... Where's all my 556? I thought I bought 556 ammo. I guess I didn't. Did I accidentally sell my 556? Here's 762. I need that. You won't buy this ammo for me, so that kind of sucks.
Well, maybe I just didn't buy it because he didn't have any. Okay. Uh, it's really not a good idea to only have one weapon type. For one thing, your gun can jam on you while you're in combat, and then you have to switch to something uh, else. Okay, well, um, kind of a problem. This is a kind of a problem. I don't have, I don't have a lot of, uh, 545 right now. Sorry, not 556. I meant 545. Guys, you, you have to forgive my, uh, my gun speak is not very versed. I'm not a gun person at all. I'm, 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 I won't say I'm getting there. I'm, I am picking up an appreciation for certain gun parts. It all started with Stallcraft. I like, can you, like, I don't make fun of me for that, but honestly, feel free to make fun of me for that. But <laughs> I know <laughs> completely opposite statements, but like who to thunk it? Why would, why, the only reason I'm playing this game is because of Stallcraft. I think that's hilarious. Um, okay. I need to sell sell my magazine. You have some money? Uh, you can buy my magazine. I have a magazine. You would like that magazine, right? Um, oh, I can... You will also buy my, my deck of cards. And this personal journal, sure. And apparently they'll buy my, uh, ammo. He can't really afford all of that, so I'll get some stuff, take some stuff back. There you go. That was actually not bad. Yo, every- the whole party's coming! We got a parade! I know it is late, but I am doing okay. Thanks for caring. No, no worries. Mission failed! Oh, apparently there is a time limit for these missions. Uh, I wish I'd known that. This won't go unnoticed. I have lost cl clear sky trust. Alright, well, I guess don't take missions you know you can't complete. Um, so I have to scout the church. That seems like a really easy mission. There's an there's a artifact here that I have to get that is really really difficult because it's basically in a whole bunch of electro anomalies. Uh, there's a mutant over here I have to kill. Apparently there's a really nice stash here. Um, we could like this is a base I have to avoid. I could go like this way up and around, kill this mutant. I could try and take on this base, but it's it's kind of uh, well guarded. Remember, turning into a guided missile is faster than reloading. Uh, you mean like pull out g knife and just like... Rawr! You mean like that? Reminds me of one of my favorite One Piece jokes. Don't hate me for enjoying anime, I'm sorry. It is just because he was worried when I was not here earlier and I felt the need. I, you know. Like I say, don't, uh, don't ever feel obligated to, to show up. Um, anything you want to get done? Nope. Anything you got to trade? Okay, nope. Uh, we need to reload this gun. I really like the animations in this game. They are like a, like a little a notch above that I'm used to. Electras are easy though, unless the zone is radioactive, you can just avoid them or throw a bolt and run into it. Uh, I can show you what we're working with, Imatan, but uh, it's it's there's a lot of them, and um, they seem to show up like immediately after. I, I tried exactly that. I tried throwing a bolt in and. Uh, they kind of discharge for a moment and then reappear very quickly. But well, you know, I'll give it a go. Let's let's give it a go. Let's uh, do some dangerous stuff. We have Kevlbong, Never Wrong, 
and Drever Inong, Iver Matong, <laughs> Mifer Song, Vilder Kong. I like this. This uh, naming scheme is very good. Mimisi's nickname give gives her name away so much. It's all obviously Mimi, Mini C Mimi. Guys, remember Naruto? Remember how much mileage we got out of Naruto? In Brazil, my name is quite unique and people always say it wrong. Last one is last ditch effort. Never do that. Usually just crouch, use bolts to navigate your way. Um, okay, so the one of the issues I'm at hand is that the artifact I need to pick up, and it's not even an ar artifact, it's just a sample. Um, the artifact is literally inside of an Electro. So, you know, that's that's kind of a problem. I'll show you, you, you know, you don't have to take my word for it about your mission. This is the guy I'm doing that mission for. Uh, scouting this, that area. I didn't realize I was going to be scouting a bunch of different areas. I thought it was just like the one. Space Baby is better than Ninja. To be honest, I, it wasn't incest. They were from different dimensions, timelines. Don't, don't try and apologize for it, Adrino. <laughs> Um, all right, we're gonna, let's drink a drink, get dranked, dranked up a little bit, caffeine, and, uh, oh yeah, how does this thing work? Move to slot. Oh, nice. I do not know how this thing works. Receiver is a small device with a highly sensitive RF model used for basic communications. Quite common among soldiers, despite the old technology. I know I need it. I can't remember why. Can I put this in there? No. All right, we're going east. I'm so used to pressing X to sprint, and X in this game for some reason just like locks my face forward. It just brings my eyes up. Which is uh, kind of unusual. In the full science and anti-anomaly gear, he asks a literal clear sky hobo to go into it. You're not wrong. <laughs> it's uh, it's kind of messed up. I know there's um, I know you can get equipment. Maybe to, uh, like, make these anomalies, like, do no damage. Oh, God. Is there another one? We're good. No, we're not good. Oh my God. That is a lot of stuff. Artifacts bracelet. Holy crap. My dude. Hey, Porlay, how are you doing? Uh, we are like straight up in encumbrance problems right now. I have never found so much stuff. Uh, let's drop the mutant parts for now. Oh God. It 
is encumbered, cannot move. Guy walks up on him. Drop all. Let's um, unload the ammo from... These are 545. I can actually use that ammo. I actually really appreciate in this uh, mod um, having to kind of work with magazines. Something I you just never have to do in any game. And I really... I do actually really appreciate that that's a thing in this. Um, there's some like decent weaponry here. It's an AKS-74. This is the same gun as mine. So actually um, I could break this down for parts that I could use to upgrade my, uh, my weapon. Uh, I have a lot of stuff right now, and I need to shed some weight. First of all, let's uh, go ahead and... Whoops, I didn't mean to unload. I meant to load. I'm good. Got this annoying uh, cot, though. Oh, cold? Mimple is good at FPS games. I think I just got very lucky there. Bracelet. Radiation output on the artifact radiation scale. Average. Uh, is this thing radiating me right now? Okay, uh, we were able to put the artifact in that container. Good. Good. Now, I'm not sure how to put this improve uh, armor inserts. There's a way to put them into this stalker suit, I think. Headgear not included. Small magazine. Medium magazine. I might be wrong about that. Can I move right now? I still cannot move. <laughs> uh, I don't want to drop, like, anything right now. What do I drop? I have to I have to shed 20 kilograms. This is a Taz 34. This is a Taz 66. I could, in theory, um, break down one of these in order to repair the other. Never mind. Uh, it looks like they use completely different replacement parts. Maybe I'm wrong about that. It's really difficult for me to tell sometimes. Um, I, I don't know what to do about this right now. Let's drop um, some of these magazines maybe. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna have to drop some of these guns. What we could do is um field strip them. Remove all. There we go. Missing hammer uh, condition is not great. We have a carabiner. A carabiner? I am not sure. I'm sorry. Um looks like there's a bunch of broken parts. I'm going to remove all the parts from these and then um, drop a couple of them. I, I actually kind of want to keep this rifle. Uh, I don't I don't think there's much point, actually. Should always drop our weapons. Buy a multi-tool to field disassemble weapons and don't forget to unload the gun's ammo. Sells somewhat and weight efficient. Okay. Then uh, I, I guess I'm doing the right thing then. Can I disassemble this? I'm missing uh, something. Okay. Well, anyway, I, I have done exactly as you have suggested. Uh, 
Uh, I think... Oh, no. My uh, Swiss Army knife is still good. So I guess I already field stripped that one. There's a scope on this. Uh, or maybe there's not. Um, I'm below my weight limit now, now that I've dropped all the, all the guns. There's a heart on the ground. Uh, Carbine. Karen Bidden. We do all be trying. It's all we can ask for. Why did your character crouch while you were in the inventory? Uh, it's not that my character crouched, it's that I crouched. Did I just waste a bunch of ammo? I'm a little bit concerned about that. Ooh, a shovel. Uh, at this point, I kind of want to head back and um, sell this stuff. Uh, I don't know. We are kind of close to the area I was going towards. All right, I'll head towards the anomaly zone just so you, you guys can see what I'm dealing with here. Most useless and heavy item in the game. Let's go shovel gang. Hey, Galen, this is a very fun menu game. <laughs> Listen. There's a lot of inventory management in this game, um, more so than, than in a lot of shooters. Um, and I kind of appreciate it, like, you can't just, like, pick up everything. You have to worry about weight. Uh, I just got a ton of items for, like, hopefully repairing my other weaponry. I am actually, like, Imatan here is giving me a lot of tips for, uh, Figuring this game out, and it is actually helping a lot. I'm doing quite well right now. Man, sky is sure clear today. Yeah, right? Most useless and heavy item in the game. Let's go shovel gang. Find an anomaly's worth of guns. So heavy. Er, finding a shovel. Ooh, shovel. <laughs> I didn't pick up the shovel, you'll note. <laughs> is that a... Body I can loot. Some some of these bodies are fake. They're like positioned bodies to make you think, ooh, yeah, a body. But no. Alright, welcome to hell. This is what we're working with here. So you see, like, it... Throwing bolts basically does not help. Um... I can try and run in and grab the bolt. Or the artifact. I'm trying to grab it. Yeah. Dimple be microwaving coffee. <laughs> Bimple's micro, uh, a coffee got microwaved for sure. So, um, 
Show, show under your feet to find your way into the anomaly. The problem is the artifact is is like right inside of one. I don't even think I can grab it without, um, like literally dying. I will try though. Like I can see where they are. Also, if I accidentally trigger one while I'm in here, I'm pretty sure I will take some damage. I think I got it. I think I did get it. I did get it. I am like heavily hurt right now, but um, it might be worth it. Uh, do I have an arm splint? I actually do have an arm splint, but I think it's my head that's hurt. It looks like the surgical instrument would help me. Hardly seems worth it if I'm being honest. But we did do it. I did get it. That helicopter is shooting at something. I'm not sure what. All hail the thingamajig, MacGuffin. I am enjoying this uh, open world game. Like it, it, it's, it feels, it's like Skyrim with guns. Guys, remember that? Remember when everything was Skyrim with something? It's like Skyrim with horses. Um, I am really enjoying the open nature of this game. I do kind of wish I was getting some of the stalker like story. Um, but I think maybe, maybe, maybe I'm not wrong in, in thinking that the stalker world is more important than the story. You can shoot a raven, the only bird in the zone, to get its beak to sharpen your knife, but you will never hit it. It's almost impossible. Also, some stalkers make vodka out of them. Uh, I'm very casually almost walking into, uh, poison. Very good. Is that a baddie? So now, uh, is that a bad guy? Let's find out. I think... Oh. Okay. He is a bad guy. <laughs> well, unload, build strip, remove all. Oh, he's got some food. That's like the best part here. Uh, yeah, the food is honestly the best part. Um, we are over encumbered officially. So what, what you're going to notice now is that my endurance in the bottom left corner uh, is now lowering even when I walk. Are you a bad guy? Maybe he's a good guy then. Uh, well, I mean, that really, yeah, I mean... I don't think that anyone in the stalker universe is uh, necessarily a good guy. Uh, some people are just not as bad as other people. Um, the stalkers, uh, I think their stalkers in general are people who are here to try and um, make money by, uh, you know, pillaging um, a very destructive world. Mutants, artifacts. Um, the taking advantage of a bad situation. Uh, bandits are taking advantage of stalker's ambition. 
in that they, uh, you know, assume that the stalkers are going to go in and do the hard work and then bandits will kill them for the goods. So I think it's fair to say that um, bandits are worse than stalkers. But then there's a whole lot of nuanced factions in the stalker universe, which is interesting. Like there are clear sky stalkers. They seem to um, not care so much about the money of it, but about trying to figure out like how this world works, uh, which is interesting. And uh, and then there's like other stalkers that are like have some kind of weird um, connection to the zone. It's it's interesting. I brought you your glowing dirt. So what now? Uh, I only got five thousand for that. That was not an easy task. Um, item received: improved titanium grid. I mean, that might be something. Anything else you need help with, Professor? As you probably already guessed, I work in the scientific group of the Institute for the Study of the Chernobyl Anomalous Zone. Artifacts are invisible to the human eye, but the frequency emitted by them can be detected by detectors. Well, I know that. Um, well, you see, previously I measured the anomalies at Agriprom and found a number of strange abnormalities. Artifacts that form in these anomalies have unique modulation characteristics on the new sphere. However, during my studies, we got attacked. The situation got quite tense and we had to flee. In the confusion, I left my laptop with the scan data at one of the anomaly sites. If you can, please find my laptop. It will show the coordinates of the anomalies I scanned. Look for any anomalous samples you can find in them. Okay. About your mission? No, I'm still looking for them. Researchers bring Prof Kavalev uh, his laptop. I can do that. That's actually good. Find the rubles in, in, used in the zone are Soviet ones. That's why all, all are all the pricing are out of whack. That's actually good. Yo, can can you explain, I'm a ten? What did I get? Um, what is this? Improved titanium grid. What does this do? I think uh, that guy is the closest to like the story quest in this game. So all the anomaly and the... Oh, I have to be going east. No, no sorry, west. All the anomaly and the zone hole is from scientists messing with the new sphere, the collective human consciousness. All right. Got to get back. Got to sell my stuff. Got to get back. Got to sell my stuff. Yo, my dude is like not okay right now. I'm going to it's going to cost me probably as much money as that scientist gave me just to um get back to like good health. Grid is a thing you can put on your artifact slot when you get a better suit to boost your carry weight. Not only that, it's an improved one. Oh. Okay. Well, ironically, it actually offers uh, less electrical resistance. <laughs> can only wear one back frame. Can I put this on anything? No. Usually highlights if you grab something you can you can like put something on I should unload all of these Oh, I see it, it does actually work when I'm walking but slowly I guess it only works as long as my uh, menu is open There shouldn't be any bad guys anywhere close to here. Mm. 
I need to wait for my endurance to come back, so I may as well unload all my magazines. Electrical resistance is easy thing to dismiss. Electrical ano anomaly is really not a problem usually and can be avoided easy unless something you seek in the anomaly. <laughs> right. Unless it, literally the exact situation that I found myself in was uh, was the case. Um, and I, I do understand that that's not like always the case. Yo, we're getting 762 from this barrel? Oh man, that's actually really nice. It's stalking time. I, my favorite part of the stalker movie is when they say it's stalking time. And then they stalk all over those bandits. Morty! Morty, Morty, I turned myself into a stalker! I'm star I'm stalker Rick! <laughs> Will you play... Will you only play Stalker today? No. Uh, I'm gonna move on to Mutation. This... I, I decided to switch things up a bit, because, um... I, I tried to play Radiophobia on Tuesday, just to see how well it worked. And it didn't go well, and I didn't... It wasn't a very good representation of the game. Um, I wanted to play... Like, I... Guys, I'll be honest. Yesterday, I needed a day off. <laughs> so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna install... A stalker game that is recommended and so I grabbed this one and I was like I I want to see if I can stream stalker and also um, even though I was having a rough time with this game I couldn't get it out of my head I really couldn't like it was just it it really this this game this whole series has made a an impression on me and like I, I want to I want to appreciate it like I want to get kind of steeped in it that doesn't mean I have to stream it, but if it's a game I think can be streamed, then I'm, I would like to try just to kind of gauge reactions from people in chat and see what y'all like. Um, that doesn't mean Weird West is done. Um, it just means like I, this is an experiment and I, I wanted to, like, I, I figured, um, I honestly figured that Imatan would know a thing or two about how to play this game, even if he hadn't played this version. And, you know, I, I've been right about that. Uh, and that's been very helpful. I've already learned a lot about how to play this game. Um, and I want to, you know, see what how people feel about it. I don't know if necessarily this is a great streaming game. Um, there's not a lot of story. And it's usually, it's, it's, a, it's a lot of me just kind of bumbling through the wilderness. But there's something of value there as well, I think. Um, what am I doing? I'm handing in some quests. That's what I'm doing. I really like VR games. I'll skip those. My favorite part about the Stalker movie is the, uh... Have you got the new a new VR headset yet? So, um, funny you should say that, Andrino. Right now, there's a... A Stalker-ish game on sale. Um... That... Is, it's, I think it's called Into the Realm or something. Into the Field. Um, and it's a VR Stalker ish game and i was thinking of grabbing it but it means i'd have to reset up my vr headset um i don't think i really want to do that oh i got some rodent meat here you go thanks 850 huh um is it any work you need done no i don't want to do that that's <laughs> Tarkovsky Is it what? Back to the shadows. Stalker is to Russia that Rick and Morty is to nerd. That is such an awful analogy, Entrino. <laughs> that is such actual garbage. Get out. Uh, he knows about Stalker. I don't ex I don't expect Imatan to know about Stalker because he's Russian, okay? I expect him to know about Russian because he tends to play these kind of games. Um, actually, honestly, the real reason that it's safe to assume that Imatan plays a game is if it's difficult. I'm not even gonna lie. The job is done. 
There you go. 250 or 2500, huh? That's really not a lot, my dude. Any work you want done? Yeah, like I said, the scouting missions kind of suck. No Magnus. No Magnus. I read it. Everyone, bot says no Magnus. He's he's buying uh, uranium from a guy called Magnus, or he wants the uranium that has no Magnus. He's trying to buy some uranium, and he wants the uranium to have no Magnus. Okay. Okay. I have a lot of renegade patches. I just need to get one more bandit patch and then I can hand in a different quest. Grooming kit. I don't know what the point is of the grooming kit. We gotta sell some stuff. Bot is cheating on the simp gang. Magnus Carlson sells uranium. Poggers. <laughs> Did not ex- I thought I was reading an Andrino uh, chat. No magnets. That's right. He wants the uranium to have no magnets. Into the Radius is an amazing game. That's the one. That is the one. Into the Radius. You you play VR games, Andrino? Uh, okay. So... Do I have any 762 barrels? This is 762, right? It is 762. Uh, mm. I have... A 18 millimeter... Oh, I actually do have a 762 barrel. Unfortunately, it is also garbage. That's unfortunate. Used at workshops as part replacement. Is there any way to repair these? I don't need any of these. 545. Now, this is actually useful because I could potentially use it... Um, for my AKS. This is a 792 barrel, which I don't need. 18, I don't need 18 millimeter. Um, I'm gonna sell all these magazines. me i wish i could split these apart a bit more easily there we go can you change the stalker tag background in your inventory uh what does that mean you can buy a file to fix your barrels he sells tools to fix your gun parts as well is that what it does a file used to restore weapon parts such as worn out rusty barrels or breech heads this is actually very affordable um i all right let's see if that works the one with your image and all uh this is the one i chose when i created the character i don't think i can change it to be honest maybe i can i don't know how Now, I could sell these weapon parts. Um, let me see here. Worn gas system. I'm not sure if I... Replacement parts. Okay, just because I have a 762 barrel does not mean that the barrel will necessarily work for this SKS. I'm trying to figure out, does it, when it says replacement parts on the bottom, I'm wondering, does that mean, like, those are the parts that are currently on the gun, and they're, like, how damaged they are? Because I do know that the barrel is broken, and that the gas system is, uh, is not doing well. Carbon nanotube layers. I'm pretty sure that's the replacement part for my, no, never mind, my... Stalker suit requires something else. You'll have to forgive me. There's a there's a kind of a steep learning curve with this game, and I'm trying my best to figure it out. Um, 
Objector from an over, under barrel, double barrel shotgun. Well, I can sell that. I don't need that. Chalk from a double barrel shotgun. Don't need that. Double barrel sliding. Um, okay. Sliding bolt carrier. Rotating locking head. Two locks. I don't know what this is even for, but I'll keep it for now. Hammers from a hammer type double barrel shotgun. We can get rid of those. Double barrel shotgun. Aluminized layers of retardant fabrics. We can get rid of some of this stuff. Um, single action trigger mechanism. Nothing quite like a file to fix a worn out barrel. It's the faction symbol and no you can't change it. You choose the faction and you stick by it unlike main games. Crafting and gear repair is quite a task to get around and abuse. It takes time to figure out. I, uh, I'm slowly learning. I'm actually, I, I feel like a lot more apt now than I was at the beginning of even this stream. Um, carbon fiber layers. I, like, I don't know how to repair my basic gear. I need to find, like, actual tools. Like, the tools uh, that will help me on the workshop. So I need a gasket, worn gas system. I, I think these are a lot of the parts I just sold them. I kind of wish I could hide. Um, learn to choose a gun, but also know how to choose ammunition for it. This guide provides information about various types of ammunition, plus an in-depth view about the basic components of cartridges. Could be useful. What is this? Field armor toolkit. Probably I need this as well. Universal weapon cleaning kit. Oh, that's 11,000. Small bore rifle cleaning kit. Used for repairing equipment. If you stick to this game, I would be very happy to see you get into a lab one day. <laughs> okay, I'm going to sell all this. That's not a lot of money I'm getting from that, but it's better than nothing. Labs, how fun. Any work you need done? Target Stone Manticore. Location in on the outskirts of Pripyat, south of the river port. This seems like an absolutely death mission. I'm not gonna do that. Managed to damage my new chair. Wait a minute. I've watched a couple of nano videos on this game. Takes time to figure out. Managed to damage my new chair arm by pushing the chair under the table, but the chair was a bit higher and I didn't notice. Damn. Oh, that sucks. Um, let me try... What I'm going to do is I'm going to try to repair my barrel here. Um, field strip the barrel. Here's the barrel. It's not okay. Here's a different barrel. It's slightly better. First of all, can we put this barrel on the gun? This inventory system is a little bit hard to get used to. Here's our 762 barrel. Can I put this on that gun? Part is not compatible with weapon. Why am I not surprised? So it requires a V barrel, not an, uh, not a PP barrel. <laughs> okay. So can I use this file on the PP, the uh, V barrel? Use. Okay. So this is used 
to repair these parts gas tube i might be it's not it looks like it's not going to be useful for the barrel but it is useful for other parts um so let's let me field strip the gas system so there's a gas tube v can i repair that This is a gas tube AV. I might be able to replace it. It looks like I can't repair it. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm really trying to get used to this. Gas tube AV, and then this is a gas tube V. Can I put a gas tube AV on a, uh, in there? Nope. That's a big no. So I need to, for some reason, I can't repl uh, repair the gas tube V. Then the PP barrel doesn't fit. When the PP barrel doesn't fit. So this file um, is actually not going to help me. A dang shame. A dang shame and... Uh, I'm, I mean, I'm still using this SKS. I like the SKS a lot, and that's why I'm trying so hard to repair it. And we're going to sell a bunch of my ammo. 45, we'll sell the 45. Sell the buckshot, flatchets, slugs, whatever this is. Oh, no, that's 762. We want 762. There's some 762 that's helpful to me and other that is not. Um, uh, frustratingly, they are not compatible always. Sell so the 9mm. We don't ni need 9mm. Um, I'm going to get, like, no money from this, but it's at least something. Sell. So, your barrel might just be just too damaged to repair. Repair kits have a minimal condition they can repair from. Okay, good to know. I might have to, in that case, uh, buy a replacement barrel or try and find a better barrel. My dude, how come you have no 545 ever anymore? I think I have enough 762 to last me for a little while. I could definitely use more 545. What's damaged here? Uh, I actually think that the a um, AKS is okay. But just to learn something, um, f I'm going to sell all the parts that are not useful to me. Like, uh, it's been a good learning experience, but I don't think any of them are going to be helpful to me. Move from swamp. Swamp trader sucks. Okay. All right, well, I did complete the couple of things I, I wanted to get done here, so that's the good news. Um, I'm going to sell pretty much everything. This is too damaged? Yeah, okay, so we'll, I'll donate the uh, parts that are too damaged. That's 3,000. That's not nothing. Mm. All right. I... Oh, so this... Ammo. I, I can possibly sell that ammo to people. PP plus X plan equals shadow ban. You got any money? You do have some money. Nice. Can you buy my crappy ammo that is useful to no one? Yes, you will. Fantastic. Acid bullets. Interesting. I don't know if that stuff will work on anything I have. 
Um, so buy my nine millimeter in this magazine and these uh, decks of cards. Sounds good. I'll keep these renegade patches. Someone might uh, want a like give me a quest to hand those in. I can sell these goggles. I don't know if those welding goggles are good for anything, but I, they seem to be pretty commonplace, so I can get them again. Oh, is this a uh, 5:45 not in my loadout? It seems to be full. No, it's not full on ammo. Okay, so never mind. Is there any? What? We're okay. This is this is full. Oh no, it's not full. It's kind of difficult to tell sometimes. I think the the interface lies to you sometimes. <laughs> So, Big, have you encountered Bloodsuckers in Stallcraft? Uh, I have. They're miserable in Stallcraft. I truly hate them in Stallcraft. Um, I was never at a point where I could, like, actually take them on. Um, I, I basically, whenever I encountered a Bloodsucker in, uh, Stallcraft, my, my, um go-to strategy was to run and then try and find a, a fellow stock stalker that would uh take on aggro for me dada da -da. i need i need medical assistance two thousand rubles please i always survived i i never died to a bloodsucker fortunately i could buy some goods from this guy anti-rad medicine would actually be really nice Uh, I should buy some food, actually. And some more water. I don't know if mercs are neutral to loners in this mod pack because mercs' relations are often changed. If you loners are neutral to mercs, then you can trade in those patches for gear. I can show you my relation to everyone in this game. It's pretty easy to find that out. What is this stuff? Oh, cool. Um, I'm gonna buy some beef and um, purified water. Can I sell the empty can back to them? Is there any point in keeping an empty can? Oh, I forgot to sell this anomaly. Who would buy it? Trader isn't interested in an item like this. I should have tried to sell it to that one scientist, dude. I'm gonna go that way anyway. Uh, I'm gonna eat some food. We'll eat one of these snossages. And I do need to drink some water. Unpack your artifact from the container to sell it. Uh, I don't know who would buy it, though. I don't know if this, like, dude in the, uh... This guy over here would, would buy it. Uh, am I stuck? Where is it? Where it is? Open. Will you buy my artifact? No, you won't. 8,000 rubles. I'll try the other guy. Walter. Unpack the artifact, Walter. I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. <laughs> Oh, here we go. 
1600 rubles is not nothing chemical resistance honestly this is not an awful uh bracelet to ha or uh, not an awful um artifact to have but you know i'll sell it make them horizontal can you spin items no i can't um this is not really a resident evil style inventory system i know it's you know one would get the impression that it is it's really not um i oh uh we'll just drop this wonder what that looks like even That is very hard to see, but I can see it. Wait, what, Andrina? 2,008 people are 28 years old. I found Cellcraft Bloodsuckers far easier than they are and easy to see, so take that info as you will. Yeah, the thing is, is that about Bloodsuckers is that they are very tanky, and I didn't, I never had the equipment to deal with them in uh, Stallcraft. I did encounter uh, a, a bloodsucker in Radiophobia. They weren't a huge problem in Radiophobia. Not nearly as much as in Stalkraft for me. Uh, in this game, they may be very bad. We'll find out together. Are you a time traveler? So apparently I uh, this is going to be a 2 hour stream cuz we've just passed the 2 hour mark. They aren't tanky here but they are fast and hard to see. They're invisible. Stallcraft dupe glitch 100% working, no virus free. I should have named my stream that I named, I tried to name my, this is, this is me trying to name my, uh, my stream to something more eye-catching, first of all. And also, um, I'm going to change the title to Mutation when we move on to that. Oh yeah, um, do you want to see my reputation? So this is my relations with everyone in this game. These are all the different, um... Uh, faction. So apparently, if you're not a monolith uh, person, then you are just an enemy to them. Um, so right now, I believe I am a freedom. I'm on the freedom stalker. So I'm neutral with free stalkers, neutral with other freedom, uh, neutral with clear sky eco uh, ecologists, mercenaries. And apparently I'm neutral with bandits, which doesn't make sense. No, actually, sorry, I'm free stalkers, not freedom. So I'm enemy to mil uh, to, to bandits, military, and mercenaries. Um, but I'm neutral with all of my, the basic stalker uh, groups. You aren't freedom, you doofus. You are a loner. Oh, I'm free stalkers, see? Steam notifications, log in attempt from Imatan's room. My name is Boxy, you see? Do you see? Um, there was one more quest to do in this zone. I wouldn't mind doing that, but I also wouldn't mind just moving on from Swamp if, uh, if it's true that the next area is like... Like, if I can survive the next area, then I guess I'd rather have better traders and stuff like that, so... Freedom can be described in one word. Weed. <laughs> there is a uh, there is weed in this game. Mm. Help or under fire from bandits in the great swamp west of the road to Agroprom. I don't know if there is a road to Agroprom, so I'm not sure where that is. 
Someone died. He was a good stalker. I'll go get his PDA and leave the loot alone. Freedom is 90% of the weed zone consumer base. Road to aggro is, uh, is north. Oh, so it is. I'm going to go to Cordon. There's a, there's a really nice stash here, apparently. I have to do something here, but the quest hand in is going to be back in the swamp, so I don't necessarily think I care. Oh, hello. That guy hurt my leg a lot. Uh, it's worth doing this because you actually improve your, like, you have, like, actual skills in this game that you can improve by doing certain things. Um, let me see. Splint. Bandage. Uh, I don't have a leg splint, unfortunately. So my dude might be suffering for a while. That's a problem. Kind of hope I'm not bleeding. I'm going to use it. I'm going to save and then use a bandage. I don't think that helped at all. I need a splint. Just walk it off, basically. I might actually have to load. Pretty sure my dude is limping now. A little bit. I am genuinely walking it off. They are zoinked out of their mind, but I'll work with them any time of the day instead of duty. Duty more like doo doo. Ha ha ha. Those things weren't flesh, right? I know there's a uh, flesh creatures, and then uh, were they just like boars or something? I don't, why is there always a helicopter in the sky? I won't lie, it kind of ruins the vibes for me a little bit. All my smokes are wet. Damn flea market, not going to buy another flask from those guys again. Oh, this gun is out of ammo. There is a, a more immersive version of this game that had basically zero uh, UI. So no minimap and no ammo. I like immersion for sure, but I need a minimap. I get lost easy. And I also would like to know how much ammo is in my gun. There's a way to check in game. Um, but I think it's turned off if, if I have the ammo interface. They are boars, yeah. Advice to circle them when they charge and shoot into the side, not in the head. Skull is so thick that headshots deal less damage. Oh, interesting. Good to know. Where are the RPGs when you need them? Yeah, right? Okay, we are well on our way towards Cordon. I'm a little bit worried about this zone. There might be some baddies here. Don't forget about that package in the northwestern region of the court and the frequency was on 168. Thank you for the reminder, actually. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Uh, I don't know how to pull up my... 
R uh, R F receiver. Grenade throw. Quick access slot. Detector. I don't know if this is what I'm looking for. Um, I think I can make this to O. Next track, task, PDA, um, actually, I'll, I guess I'll make it P because right now task info is not very helpful. Make detector P. Apply. So there's my RF detector. Not sure how to change the frequency on it. Maybe there is no way. Okay, time to pull up the gun. It's in detector slot. You can change frequency by, I, I don't know, plus or minus. Let's try that. Nope. Let me have a quick look and then I'll ignore it for now. It's not really important right now. Uh, you'd think it'd be like a radio. P, night vision. I, I changed this to N. I'm not sure why it didn't change it. Giger. Item animations. What does that do? Are enabled. Ow! Well, now I'm really screwed. Um, I need to load. Perhaps it's page up, page down. Wasn't it right click while holding it? Possibly holding control or shift? Um, I tried right click, it, it just uses the knife. The game is not crashed, it's just loading. It takes a long time to load. I didn't even know I was being shot at. Uh, this could actually be a really bad save. There he is. Easy. Save. Uh... Holster your knife then. Uh, interesting idea. I'll try that. Now, what the heck do I do here? Squad reunion, what will happen in London? Everyone bring a knife, 9 p.m. Anyone up for it? Army's, uh, army boys having fun. I might load. In fact, I'm pretty sure, what the heck is that? I'm on my way. Wow. Wow. So, what's the deal with the helicopter? I really don't get it. I like how every time I die, my resistances improve, and so does my hunting ability. It's pretty good. If there's a way to turn off the helicopter in, like, the mod settings, I might look for it. It's, uh, it's kind of, um, it's kind of a problem.
Okay, my dude. This is, uh, unreasonable. Serpentine! Pfft, lol. Just turn it off. That NPC got some aimbot. Doesn't make sense to have a heli in the swamps because like one military camp in there. I don't understand. I don't know how to turn it off for, for one, like one thing. I don't know how to turn it off. Uh, I'll have a quick look. Sat at the desk and could snick on. All right, it's gone. Another dreary day at the border posting. Orna Oranovsky. Notice that way many more seem to be leaving than entering. Okay, let's, um, first of all, let's get in this bush. Bush is not doing it. Try this bush over here. Okay, now, mod configuration. Uh, bounty squads expansion. Delay between potential spawns. That's not it. Base spawn chance. Campfire regions. Um, and enable fight my foes logics. I could just have a quick look through it. Level transitions, loot box, magazines, minimap, toggle. With modifier key. What is this? Minimap toggle key. No companion FF. Um, let me just like Google it real quick. Um, stalker. Escape from Pripyat. Helicopter mod. Uh, what I could do is actually, it's probably easier to search the uh, Discord that I got it from. Install, texture pack, screenshots, gameplay questions. Let me have a quick search through here, helicopter. How do I make a helicopter that's camping me to F off? Here we go. Shoot it. <laughs> Shoot it is the answer. Um, how, how do you know it's a helicopter? Could be a UFO. Is that a pack or a mod? I think it's a pack. I don't know. Just when I was playing Gamma Warfare, I was running into no mutants. Stalker pop. Uh, this does not seem to be an answer. There doesn't seem to be any answers here. Doesn't make sense to have a helicopter. The only heli I accept is Agriprom one because it only adds to the experience. How can I remove helicopters? Um, responses to Anton here doesn't seem, there doesn't seem to be any. RPG-7. With debug mode and deleting them using debug commands. Oh, hold on. What? This might be a different question. It says RPG seven. It could be that is a it's an a mod that I have to disable. Which might be a problem because disabling mods when I'm already playing in a mod pack is potentially problematic. 
Mm. I could try deleting them. Uh, let me just have one more quick look here. With debug mode and deleting them using debug commands. Just dodged a bloodsucker and a helicopter. I farm helicopters for rank points. You can destroy helicopters with that also. Oh, okay. Um, why is there a constant helicopter sound? Sucks just... <laughs> Game settings. All right, I'm going to have to bail on this in a second. This is eating up way too much time. If you hear a helicopter, it's because there's one there. Why do I hear a helicopter sound? Disable helicopter. Okay. Gameplay option, the zone, disable helicopter patrols. There we go. Ah, won't remove them, but stops them from respawning. Aim at it, F7, delete. So, okay, first of all, gameplay options. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Hardcore, no, none of this is it. Patrols? Um, I'm sorry, guys. I'm trying to figure this out. Next game win soon. Very soon. Backpack travel state. Fast travel. Allow during combat. Apparently there's fast travel. With few restrictions, you can fast travel to many locations in the zone by clicking on travel markers found on the PDA map. Okay, I did not know that. I did not know that. General. Um, menu sim 100%. Yeah, you're not wrong. I am honestly trying to... Okay, hold on. Warfare. I'm trying to get rid of the helicopter for my own sake. At this point. Did not mean to do that. Okay. That doesn't seem to do anything. Menus that are not searchable make me mad. There is an option in the menu of the anomaly. I had my custom mod pack, but I don't know about EFP. Yeah, I'm clearly going to have to fix this on my own time. Um, it seems to be going away slowly, which is nice. So I'm going to save and uh, move on. There's still a dude over there though. I want to loot this body. Where is the body that I killed? I guess it's not a huge problem. If I can, like, hide from it and then it'll go away, then eventually that's not a huge problem. Where is the body? Please don't tell me it disappeared. I still want to loot the body. Oh, I think I see it over there. There it is. I was kind of against VODs of the streams being broken off into their own videos. Huge amounts of work, not much returns. All 90% who voted mostly yes on that are liars and wouldn't even watch them. I hear you, I'm a 10, but it's honestly just a win-win. Like, um, I appreciate what you're saying in that, um, 
it is a lot of work for me but here's the thing is the work is done it's really not a lot of work now that it's done um all of the playlists that exist are very easy to maintain um and what it does do is it makes me makes my channel more findable more searchable like if does that make sense because the thing is is that people who are going to be looking for like stalker content if i post my stalker playlist for example uh are going to be able to find me right um people that look for spirit fair content will find me um like if they if someone searches for spirit fair i i don't think they are more like likely to find my streams but they will see oh hey like this person has like four episodes of spirit fair up for instance so it does a very small amount for me that's a skellington um so while i do agree zero views three days ago <laughs> yeah i mean it's not like it's gonna do anything right away for sure also i i like specifically made that um like i i published it with zero notifications i mean you got to understand that these none of these things are gonna like do anything on their own it's when you when when all of them add up together they potentially help the channel that's a theory anyway a game theory like i said in the last stream like i'm trying not to really think about it in the sense of, like i i don't think that anything i any one thing that i do will add up to much Oh, did the gun just jam? There we go. I'm gonna hide for a second. That's a military camp and they have an LMG mounted to the wall. Well, I seem to be doing an okay job. Oh, that's an SKS. That's an SKS. I can actually use that. I can maybe replace the barrel. I appreciate what you're saying, Imitan. I, I, I do. Um, I, and I agree to a certain extent, but like... It was uh, it's a it's very small work now that it's done if that makes sense um i might actually be able to use this barrel 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 um why does it combine them they're different god damn it <laughs> maybe i can just put this on there there we go Yo, I fixed the barrel. Now it's just a worn barrel. I'm going to go ahead and drop this barrel. Um, actually, what I want to do is... Let's grab the barrel for a second. Let me see if I can't use the file on it. Apparently, I can't use the file on it. Okay. I think I need something different in uh, to fix the, the... You know, repair the barrel on the SKS. Worn bolt, worn barrel, dirty trigger mechanism. Probably I can um, use the file on the trigger mechanism. Let's try that. This is the trigger mechanism. Can I use the use it on that? Nope. Okay, it's fine. It's fine. But honestly, this is really positive. I, I might actually just swap to this SKS. Um, this is a modern SKS. 88% accuracy. This one's 86%. Slightly worse handling. This one does have upgrades on it. I'd have to like try and salvage the upgrades. 
but that's a pretty good find. I'm in pain that Ruina 1 got more views than Control-Alt-Ego. Um, Control-Alt-Ego I am going to do on stream. I'm a 10. Don't worry about that. That's a, uh, a promise. Okay. <laughs> you did just say that they had a, a wall-mounted turret. And then I walked right out in front of it. Amazing, I honestly did not die. Um, guys, do you mind if I, like, try and, um get into a safe spot before I move on from this because I don't want to like start up the next stream or not even next stream like next session of this and then find them in an untenable position I don't think I'm going to do a series on stalker and I don't even know if it's going to come back for stream because I don't think that basically anyone is interested in like I, I don't know you guys be the judge on that part oh I was like right next to some anomalies here Is this after I looted the... Oh, I have to loot that box. Everything I just did, I have to do again. I don't even know where the body is. Or is this before... Did I loot that gun? Oh no. Yo, guy. I just need to find that body. Is it gone? I I really I understand I really should not be here. Oh, there it is. Okay, I'm going to go here. Actually, let me just grab all this. And I'm going to hide in the bush. We're just going to wait for that helicopter to go away and I'm going to do not all, but some of what... No, I'm not, I'm not even going to mess with any of this. Yeah, hold on. Let me... Let me grab the, the barrel. This seems like... A more damaged SKS than when I first... Yo, is it randomized? Did I just get shortchanged a little bit there? I feel like I got shortchanged. Is this broken? Damaged barrel. So... Yeah. I'm up for stalker, but I'm biased. I'm gonna save now, and I'm gonna get away from here. Uh, I think I'm dying. <laughs> I found soccer to be more watchable if it, it one heavily edited or two someone really experienced with it. I really need a leg splint. Um Okay, this uh, Oh god, that's actually really bad because I saved. I need to use that surgical tool oh god oh god did i just like 100 percent ruin this game it would be very unique and fun someone experienced most memorable moments of this game for the first time it's a rare thing for this game so old could be fun i i really uh like i you know i'm just shooting throwing stuff at the wall and seeing what sticks you know Okay, first of all, let's use these surgical tools. I need bandages for this. I don't have any bandages. Oh god, I think I've saved myself into a bad position. I wonder if my previous quick save would be better. Yeah, it could very well be. So let me load this one. I'm sorry, guys. Stalker? This is going to be fun. I'm, you're, you you kind of missed it, I'm afraid. I, I'm really just trying to get myself out of this bad position. And then Stalker is over, I'm afraid. I'm really, like, listen, I'm really enjoying this game more so than I did Radiophobia, if you guys couldn't tell. Um, I know there's a lot of, like, upkeep in this game, and it's a, a huge pain in the butt 
for various reasons. Um, if you're all willing to tolerate it from me, then I appreciate the company. Um, you you really uh, do be making your way over here, don't you? Okay, I, I will, um, if I stream this game again, and I, you know, I'd like to, um, but if I do, uh, I will try and figure out how to turn off the helicopters, because it's a problem. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm in the bush. Excuse me. I'm in the bush. You should not be able to see me. Hacks. Hacks. Sir? Sir? Hey Mimi. I, I I wasn't sure if you were still around. Oh god, my leg. My leg. Epic SpongeBob reference. Um okay, so this is a bad place machine yard. Um I wonder if I can fast travel. I guess I never got to this zone, but that is a... Is that a military base? No, it's not a military base. I want to get here, and I want to get here. I think this is the stalker-friendly zone. Okay, I'm going to save. This is the closest to actually, like, comfortable I've been in a while. Uh, we could end it here if you if you guys are co cool with that and then I'll move on to mutation I am gonna just shortchange Westworld or sorry not Westworld West uh, weird West today This was the um, replacement for it as an experiment. It seems like people like it, but Hey Neville um, I'll travel back in time. I'm surprised bitrate is doing well. The game is pretty kind to the bitrate it seems I just love the look of this game, you know, like, you know, I don't mean to put other games down, but I've played a lot of, you know, open world games that don't look this nice. For uh, a world that's supposed to be, like, very miserable, I, I, I actually find this game to be quite um, uplifting in some ways. First thing you pointed at is a rookie village. Second is second stalker base. Last one is where bandits will try to hang out. Okay, so uh, confirm or deny. Just uh, give me a yes or a no. Um, wait, so first thing I pointed at, this is a rookie base. Uh, second is second stalker base. This is a stalker base. Last one is, okay. And is this one, this one's a bandit base? That's really weird because in Stalkraft, this is the stalker base. Very strange. Okay, well, I'll try and go to this base then because that'll be better. Bandit hang, hand out, hangout spot, not much bandits there. Okay. It might be worth hitting later. Tra Terra Volt Anomaly. I don't like the sound of that. So I can, in theory, fast travel to these zones. I don't know how to do that. What are your thoughts on fast travel in these kind of games, uh, I'm a 10? Is that a baddie? Whatever he is, he's dead. Go check out what he's got. I have to assume if they've got a balaclava that they're probably a baddie. Is that problematic of me? I wouldn't blame you for saying no or yes. Why did you have to die? Why, why are you standing right in a bunch of anomalies?
Greetings, bot. Hey, bot. Did you get your uranium? I don't think so, bud. You'll have to forgive me for, uh, quick saving a lot. The, the game has zero autosave. Oh, ouch. Still somehow alive. I'm not going to save in case um, I'm dying. I don't know where that second one is. My own, one issue with this game is, well, I guess this is, uh, ow, probably going to load at this point. Yeah, uh, I don't even think I want to hit the space. I, I, I just kind of want to move on. There is a fast travel in this, but only to the locations that are visited by you. I personally don't use them, but I did one time when the game asked me to travel from Chernobyl nuclear plant to Cordon. Quick save first, shoot second, ask questions third. Uh, I think I'm just going to let that body hit the floor <laughs> and uh, move move past here. I don't want to hit this base. This wasn't my intention. I'm just trying to get the Cordon. There's a really nice stash waiting for me in the cor in Cordon. And I just want to get there and get to a, a friendly zone and then I want to call it there. I love that animation so much. Listen, graphics don't always impress me. I don't need nice graphics to enjoy a game, but sometimes they, they help, you know? Oh. There's like baddies all around me. Oh no. Listen, I just I just want to get to Corden, my dude. Oh my god. I know there's I'm just leaving stuff on the ground there. You'll have to forgive me. I real this is not my priority right now. How am I going to get to Corden? I have to go through this base. I guess I could use the bushes. It's going to take me a while. Quick save first. There's a fun game breaking anomaly mod that makes NPCs not immune to anomalies, so it's fun, but so game breaking. There's a southern entrance to Cordon also. Yeah, but that one's right next to a, a bandit base. Seems like no matter how what, if I want to go to Cordon, I'm going to be fighting bandits. Uh, Q answers, you're going to be fighting bandits no matter what. Bandits are everywhere. You're not wrong, but, uh, you know, excuse me for being optimistic. Um, let's, let's enjoy a nice beverage. Hopefully I can get through here without having to fight this entire base. I I have optimism. Let's save. Hopefully. Uh, saving is really risky in this game because everything can go south in a matter of seconds. So, like, I often fear saving. Oh, uh, you know, that warning sign is no biggie. Whatever. You exit, exit that one, it tosses you out awfully close to the military camp, so A, better not to try southern exit. Sneaking actually works in this game somewhat. It seems to, yeah. Uh, if you'll notice in the, like, the mini-map, um, there's, like, little bars that fill up. One is, like, a sight bar. You won't see that unless it's actually filling up, and then one of them is a sound bar. 
and it does actually help you can actually be stealthy in this game um there are stuff like suppressors and stuff like that of course um i don't think you can do anything like really stealthy like walking up to someone and knifing them although it might be possible um immediately upon entering i hear mortars Uh, what? There's supposed to be a stash here. This better not be a stash I need the, a shovel for. Not a mortar, but some pure mutant got into... Oh, yeah, you're probably right about that, actually. But, I mean, that's sounding like uh, combat. Let me try, uh, I didn't get back to this. So using the mouse wheel while the, while this thing is open, doesn't do anything. Page up, page down, doesn't do anything. Clicking, ah, clicking. This is what we need to do. I wonder if that's the stash over there. Um, what was the... radio signal I needed to look at. Was it like 120 something? There's supposed to be a stash around here. I'm not seeing it. never need shovels to highlight items lying on the ground hold f interesting did not know that no I wonder if I have to go around this fence or something. Because it seems to be on the, like, the other side of this fence. Oh, that looks like it right there. How do I grab that? Oh, search box. There we go. Um, this is an awful weapon. Doesn't have a really anything useful. What is this? Old weapon crate. Lock difficulty 30%. I'm gonna need um, lock picks for that. Documents. Basic tools. Actually, very good. This is a huge boon I just got. I'll grab. Oh, I'm I'm overweight now. Shoot. Time to drop stuff. We got to keep the SKS, which is nice. Uh, this old weapons crate is very heavy. I do have a lockpick, but I don't think I can use it right now. I need like a lockpick set. Crew tools. Flesh is a mutated pig. You never need shovels. Uh, okay. Uh, I might drop stuff like kerosene, which is not going to be helpful right now. Light armor repair kit. We could use one of these. These are quite heavy, actually. Yeah, actually useful. Let's repair our uh, armor. That takes quite a long time. Um, I need to drop, like, close to 10 pounds. 
Let's unload some of this ammo and um, drop some of these magazines. Favorite loot box mod in this mod pack. Nice. There's a lot of ammo here to unload. I think I'm starting to get a fever. Oh, no. That's not good. We're getting acid 762 rounds. That is kind of great. What is this? Buckshot shells. Um, I'm gonna drop some of these things that are like highly damaged. We have syringes. Oh, these are empty syringes. Uh, let's disassemble these. Oh, we can't. All right, so we'll just drop those as well. Um, okay, I were. I, I know we said we were almost done with this game. I just wanted to get to a safe spot. I didn't think that was going to take a long time, but that is my bad. Um, I still can't move right now. I don't know. Like that, that, uh, this crate is taking up a lot of space. Uh, might drop some of this am the, the ammo that I can't really use. Okay, we're going to have to drop the SKS. It's only four kilograms, but it, uh, four kilograms is a lot right now. I actually didn't pay attention how damaged your suit was, so it might be warranted. Um, we could use this helmet repair kit. This would actually be warranted as well. May as well repair our stuff that gets rid of some heavy stuff in our inventory. Uh, okay, so we can actually move now. So I, I'm almost done. Our thing is right there, so we're like just dead ahead. Should be good. Save. I'm not going to mess with those boars over there. One boar almost took me out. That's the kind of game we're playing with here. Wait, did you really? That repair box is good for low condition suits, so it's better to save them. For maintenance, repairs, use, sewing uh, kits and such. Um, I do have one more. I just need to kind of shed some weight. Lower accurate bores, actually, yeah. This place feels so different from the swamps, obviously, but it's nice. It's going to take a second. I, I guess I could end things here. I'm pretty much there. I would like to leave things in a bit more of a comfortable position. <laughs> I Being in this situation kind of sucks. Oh, you know what? We can drop this. That is, like, worthless to us. I really don't want to ditch the SKS. Because in some ways it's better than what we've got. But I'm going to. You can't, something you can do in this game that is really nice is you can actually um, right click your backpack and make a stash. Like, the, you know, the stashes I've been finding, you can actually make one and come back later. Huge flat and hard to see in. 
harder than this? <laughs> At least with the swamp, you know, you can kind of see something. Saving. So close. I can taste it. Salvation. Don't tell me the entrance is on like the other side. Looks to be the case. Oh man. There's an item that you could put in your hot bar that drops your backpack in the emergency of fights. Very useful. Don't sleep on it. So that you're not encumbered and then you can, you're like suddenly very agile. The weather is nice. There's no excuse to be lazy. That was a... Uh... In the in the the calms, I like the calms. It's a nice touch because it's like it really makes the world feel uh, like it's full of people that are like living lives. You know, it, it does a lot to add a touch of immersion. It was called Quick Release System or something. How do I get in here? Okay, this is it. This is the entrance. Oh my god. god. Good time to gather around the campfire. What do you guys say? I like the roasting the marshmallows. Okay, guys, I'm not going to do any more inventory management. Y'all have uh, tolerated that enough of that, and I appreciate it. So I'm going to save here. And call it. Oops. And um, we're going to move on to mutation. I am going to take a, a short, like, two-minute break.